school's out and Bart's ready for some summer fun in the sun. Until he got the news, Homer and Marge were sending him and Lisa off to summer camp. Not just any camp, but the infamous Camp Deadly. How bad could it be? Well, with Iron Fist Burns as head counselor and Nelson and his band of bullies as bunkmates, it's not exactly paradise. Bart and Lisa are determined to get out, but first they've got to survive the food fights, killer bees, and a life-threatening game of Capture the Flag. So, it's 1991. Simpsons the cartoon is arguably at its peak. It's hard to imagine any other TV series being so popular for so long, but even as long ago as this, it was a huge enough phenomenon to warrant many, many video games on lots of different systems. Sadly, they were mostly average at best, horrific at worst, imparting a minimal amount of the license's qualities and undeniable quirky humour. The first of the Game Boy titles was made by Bart vs. the Space Mutants slash World creators Imagineering, and features Bart trying to break out of a horrendous summer camp, reminiscent of the classic episode Camp Krusty. It's not the clown in charge, but Mr. Burns' hitherto unheard of nephew, Iron Fist Burns, a man who, quote, inherited his good looks. You have several different gameplay modes to make your way through. First up, you have to journey through the woods, finding several flags, while trying to avoid the onslaught of counsellors running at you. You can fire spit wads at them, which incapacitates them for a bit, or Lisa will give you a handful of boomerangs, which are better. These fly back at you, and if you can catch them, you can reuse them. Otherwise, they're gone. The morons keep coming at you indefinitely, it seems, but if you stand still as soon as you see one, then they don't tend to gang up on you as much. There are killer bees that are pretty fierce, but Lisa, who has somehow got ahead of you at this point, gives you Bumblebee Man's suit, which calms them down. You fight some bosses, and then some other things happen that don't make much sense, then it's lunchtime. In the mess tent, you basically walk to the right, throwing various rancid-sounding food like tofu burgers and liver pizza at the counsellors. Then it's more flag capturing, and then you have to climb a mountain that's in the camp for some reason. I didn't get any further than this because it was at this point I started to question whether I even liked The Simpsons at all. I know a lot of games focus heavily on starting on the left side of a stage and finishing on the right, but there's literally nothing else in a lot of these levels. You might have to climb a tree or jump over a pit occasionally, but this is so noticeably the only mechanic that it becomes painful after a while. The controls do what they should for the most part, although it's hard to jump onto a branch from a tree trunk sometimes. The off-the-wall humour that makes the show so popular is missing almost entirely from this game. The funniest part of it is the manual, which was definitely not written by any of the writers from the show. Eh, maybe the Family Guy writers. The graphics are alright, although the animation leaves plenty to be desired. You'd think it would be right up there, but hey. The memorable theme music is the only song in the game, and it wasn't exactly note perfect and is kind of actually really annoying after about three minutes. Space was clearly saved for the digitized voice of Bart saying, eat my shorts, every freaking time he gets hit. It's pretty clear as far as Game Boy digitized sounds go, not saying much, but I still wouldn't have done it. There are another two Bart headlining Simpsons titles on the original Game Boy. We'd also see an itchy and scratchy golf one and Krusty's Funhouse, as well as the Treehouse of Horror game on the Game Boy Color, which was actually quite good. But I don't hold out a lot of hope. Also, why did Bart get all three? Homer is by far the funniest character.
Thanks so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on the game down below, and if you can spare a second, give the review a quick thumbs up, it really helps out. Subscribe to the Portable Power Podcast for a new Game Boy review every day from Monday to Friday. Or alternately, new episodes of the podcast drop every Saturday and Sunday on whichever platform you get your pods. See you later on.